teacher used to talk about Simon. Uh, he was a, the teacher, he was, was a teacher. They used to talk about him, he's a very nice guy. He supports them at the sports and he's going to be there and the children and things like that. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining our picks for the 10 worst teachers in history. Was he making money off the pictures or something? Was I mean, it's just, is it pure sadism? It's, he's been doing this for 20 years. Remember, he was first reported in, in 1991, 1994. For this list, we'll be looking at the most terrible educators of all time. We'll explore their grim crimes and see the sweet justice that fell on them. Did we miss any other evil teachers? Let us know below. Timothy Randall Corr. My son told me, baby, he threw my son into the wall. My son had dreams about it all last night, this morning, still shaking in his sleep, jumping in his sleep and everything. In 2016, tutor Timothy Randall Corr was arrested for a vicious assault on a student in Baltimore. The attack left the youngster with missing teeth and a fractured jaw when he was thrown against a wall after being unruly. Corr claimed when he was removing the boy that he tripped and the student accidentally hit the wall. However, the surveillance system didn't back up the teacher's claims. After being fired by the school, Kaur entered an Alford plea in courts. This got him a 10-year sentence with the majority suspended except for three months and three years of supervised probation. In 2020, the victim's families entered a lawsuit against Kaur and others involved, seeking $150,000 in compensation. To use that type of physical uh, uh, harm and that type of physical presence against a seven-year-old again, uh, incomprehensible. Julie Morris. The abuse against the victim began when she was just eight and continued for a period of more than three and a half years. A teacher is usually seen as a person a student can trust completely, but Julie Morris broke that in the extreme. She was the deputy head teacher and the safeguarding lead at a school in Wigan, England. In 2021, after being investigated for many cases of assault against children, Morris and her partner, David Morris, were arrested as they drove away with 10,000 pounds, seemingly to evade the police. Due to the evidence of grim text messages as well as recordings of their depraved activities, they were both found guilty. Julie Morris was sentenced to 13 years and four months, while David Morris received 16 years. She saw fit in her own personal life to completely disregard all of the responsibilities and the trust that her role held. Mark Burns. There are 23 known victims, but investigators have linked nearly 400 disturbing photographs to former teacher Mark Burnt, leaving investigators and parents to wonder if there are more young victims to be found. After years of rumors and accusations, the crimes of Mark Burnt finally caught up with him in 2014. The California teacher was charged with 23 counts of lewd acts with students between 2005 to 2011. Burnt's crimes came to light when a film professor contacted the police about images they saw featuring students restrained in a classroom. Burns accused stunts for sexual thrills, detectives say, took place in a five-year span beginning in 2005. After the arrest in 2011, Burnt was fired by the school in 2012. The following year, the school district agreed to pay $30 million to those affected by their former employees' terrible actions. By 2014, Burnt pleaded no contest and was sentenced to 25 years. They were on to him. The district fired him and police started following him. One day he dropped an object and an officer right behind him picked it up. Raymond Payne. It's been 45 years to the day since 16-year-old Gamma's body was found floating in Casawago Creek. Gamma's sister says she believes the battle is over. In 1975, 16-year-old Debbie Gamma argued with her mother and stormed out of their house in Pennsylvania. After days of no contact, the family began searching for the student. Unfortunately, her body was found by the police, with no signs of abuse. The family hired a private investigator who realized the same type of wire used on Gamma was also in the possession of her favorite teacher, Raymond Payne. She killed her. I have to face that. After being arrested, he admitted to having slain Gamma, but it was an accident. Payne insisted he didn't abuse her. In 1977, he was sentenced to life in prison. Over the years, Payne has appealed his conviction with no success. He passed away in jail in 2020. Third degree murder conviction could mean freedom for Payne since that crime has a maximum sentence of 40 years and he has already served 42. Violet John Burling. 
1951, the then longest murder trial in Los Angeles County history got underway. In it, music teacher Violet John Burling was accused of slaying 10-year-old Catherine Frances Erickson the previous year. She was found bound to a chair at Burling's home with an accordion strap over her shoulders. She had fatally choked on regurgitated food. Burling claimed that Erickson, who was living with her at the time, had tied herself up and enjoyed hurting herself. However, the authorities claimed that Erickson couldn't have made some of the cuts and bruises found on her body. With former students also claiming abuse at Burling's hands at the trial, the music teacher was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Christopher Pickup on the surface, Christopher Pickup seemed like a good head teacher at a primary school in Oldham. Parents and colleagues seemingly had loads of trust in him. Yet between 1971 and 1983, when Pickup was a teacher at two schools, he took advantage of 19 boys. One victim told their father about their ordeal, only to be hit and told to respect their elders. In 2019, justice came knocking for the teacher when the first formal complaint was issued. In 2022, Pickup was found guilty of 37 offenses against the students. He was sentenced to 10 years, ordered to pay 58,760 pounds in prosecution costs, and was placed on the offender's register indefinitely. Harry Wirawan By leading a boarding school in Bandung, Indonesia, to help students from poor households through scholarships, Harry Wirawan had the respect of many locals. But that came crashing down in February 2022, when he was sentenced to life in prison. He impregnated at least eight of them. The trial revealed that many children he raped belonged to poor families who were attending the school on scholarships. Between 2016 to 2021, Wirawan abused the trust of his students. At least eight girls bore his children, some while they were still studying at the school. Wirawan then used the babies to entice more donations to the facility's upkeep. But by April 2022, his sentence was changed. For the first time in the country's history for this type of crime, Wirawan was handed a sentence of capital punishment. Halina Kovalenko In 2016, Ukraine's then Minister of Internal Affairs, Arsen Uvikov, broke news on Facebook that terrified the world. In Kharkiv, Halina Kovalenko, who had decades of teaching experience, was arrested by police. But not for crimes that we've already mentioned. Instead, Kovalenko was accused of attempting to sell a 13-year-old girl to an organ harvester. The buyer had already given Kovalenko $39 for photos of the student and her medical records. This deplorable plan had been in progress for a year. Unfortunately for Kovalenko, the cops had been watching her for four months. Once Kovalenko took the student out of boarding school and met with the buyer for the exchange, the police swooped in. Norman Simons I said by profession he would either be a teacher or a policeman or a priest, somebody in a, in, um, in, a, in a role of authority that the children would trust. From 1986 to 1994, Cape Town, South Africa was in terror because of a slew of assassinations of 22 abused schoolboys. The press gave the mystery perpetrator the headline-grabbing moniker of the Station Strangler. We cannot allow lawlessness to break out amongst the public, and if that should occur, we would obviously have to discipline the public too. This name referenced the M.O. of the person, who seemingly lured their victims away from train stations. The police investigation led them to the door of primary school teacher Norman Simons in 1994. Unable to link him to 21 cases, Simons was tried for the demise of Elroy von Royen. In 1995, the teacher was sentenced to life imprisonment, 10 years for kidnapping, and 25 for the slaying. The court found many things written by Simons in his confession to be true since two of the bodies were found in the vicinity Simons had pointed out. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Heinz Schmitz In 1913, in Bremen, Germany, the first documented mass use of a firearm at a school took place, an act that's haunted us ever since. Unemployed teacher Heinz Schmidt, who left his job after a mental breakdown, walked towards the building with a stack of weapons and ammunition. 
He went on a rampage throughout the building, firing at anyone who crossed paths with him. It took a coachman to bravely subdue Schmidt and stop his horrendous actions. In the end, he injured 21 and slew five people. When the police arrived, they had troubles as an angry mob had formed, looking to get their own version of justice. Schmidt was found insane and spent the rest of his days in an asylum. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.